Why did it fascinate Einstein? Well, think about it. Einstein's, uh, one of the considerations we've just spoken about, about absolute space, is that you can't tell whether you're moving or not with a constant speed. So that means there's no experiment you can do in a laboratory that will tell you, for example, that you're careering around the sun at 18 miles a second. But in the laboratory, we can measure the strengths of the electric and magnetic forces, and we must get the same answer no matter how we are moving relative to anybody else, which implies that this speed is a special speed. It is a speed that doesn't change, no matter how the observer or the emitter of the light are moving relative to each other. That's what Einstein was referring to, the consequences of these equations. And he said it took a while. It took 40 years, actually, for people to stop searching for something that these electromagnetic waves were moving relative to and take this simple equation seriously and say, what are the consequences of a speed, in this case, the speed of light, upon which everyone agrees?